welcome to our new math tutorial. Ang ating topic ngayon is subtraction of polynomials. DNA is at the corner. Sa subtraction of polynomials, mababago ang sign ng subtrahend. Ang una nating given ay 6x squared minus 3x plus 4 minus negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. I-observe muna natin ang given polynomials. Kung ang mga ito ba ay naka-arrange na into ascending or descending order. Sa ating given, ang bawat polynomial ay nakaayos na in descending order, meaning from highest degree pababa. Now, I-distribute na natin ang minus sign sa negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. Mababago ang sign ng bawat term. Negative times negative 2x squared, it will become positive 2x squared. Negative times positive 3x magiging negative 3x na ito. At ang last term, negative times negative 2 Ito ay magiging positive 2. From negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 2, naging 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 na ang second polynomial. After nating maayos ang sign ng subtrahend, maaari na nating i-combine ang like terms. Tandaan na after natin madistribute ang minus sign sa subtrahend, Saka lang natin i-combine ang like terms. So we have 6x squared plus 2x squared. Parehong may x squared ito. Kaya i-combine natin ito. Next is negative 3x minus 3x. At positive 4 plus 2. Sa ating 6x squared plus 2x squared, Ia-add lamang natin ang numerical coefficient na 6 at 2. Ito ay magiging 8x squared. Sa negative 3x minus 3x naman, i-combine lang ang negative 3 at negative 3. At ito ay magiging negative 6x. And of course, positive 4 plus 2 is equal to positive 6. So ang ating final answer ay... 8x squared minus 6x plus 6. Ngayon naman, subukan natin ang vertical method sa pagsusubtract ng polynomials. For example, we have 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 9x minus 10 minus 2x cubed plus 8x minus 2. Obserbahan muna natin ang ating mga given polynomials kung ang mga ito ba ay naka-arrange na. Ang bawat polynomial natin sa ating given ay nakaayos na into descending order. Meaning, nauna yung mayroong pinakamataas na degree. Maaari na nating i-distribute yung minus sign dito sa ating subtrahend na 2x cubed plus 8x minus 2. So, ang ating polynomial na nabanggit ay magiging negative 2x cubed dahil minus sign or negative times positive 2x cubed that is negative 2x cubed. And then negative times positive 8x that is equal to negative 8x. And lastly, we have negative times negative 2 that is equal to positive 2. So from this, naging iba na yung sign ng ating subtrahend. And after maiba yung sign ng subtrahend natin kanina, magpo-proceed na tayo sa addition. Since vertical method nga ito, i-arrange natin in column ang ating mga given polynomials. So unahin natin yung 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 9x minus 10. Ito yun. Next is we have negative 2x cubed Tapos kung mapapansin natin, wala tayong term na mayroong x squared dito sa ating pangalawang polynomial. Kaya ang gagawin natin is, iahanay pa rin natin siya dito sa ating column, pero ilalagay natin ay 0x squared. So that's plus 0x squared. Ibig sabihin, 0 din ang katumbas nito. Next, kopyahin natin yung negative 8x plus 2. 
magkakatapat yung similar terms. So, ito yung mayroong x cubed, ito yung mayroong x squared, next ay yung mayroong x, and yung constant term. Mag-proceed tayo sa addition, kagaya ng nabanggit kanina. I-add natin ang bawat term. So, isa-isahin muna natin, negative 10 plus 2, that is negative 8. Positive 9x minus 8x, so yung numerical coefficients, 9 minus 8, that is equal to 1. Tapos, kopyahin lamang natin yung variable na x. Next, since 0 nga ito, we have negative 5x squared, so kukopyahin na lang natin, negative 5x squared. And yung una nating terms, negative 3x cubed minus 2x cubed, 3 minus 2, that is also equal to 1. Kaya mayroon tayo ditong x cubed. Hindi na natin isusulat yung 1 dito sa x cubed kasi understood na na ang numerical coefficient nito kapag wala tayong nakikita ay 1. Kagaya ng x na nandito sa ating pangatlong term. Therefore, our final answer is x cubed minus 5x squared plus x minus 8. Ang susunod na given ay x cubed y minus 3y squared plus 5y minus 8 minus 6y squared minus 2 plus 9x cubed y. I-arrange muna natin ang ating given polynomials into descending order. Ang x cubed y minus 3y squared plus 5y minus 8 ay naka-arrange na. Nauna ang x cubed y na may highest degree, followed by negative 3y squared, 5y, and the constant term na negative 8. Now, yung 6y squared minus 2 plus 9x cubed y, kailangan pa nating iayos. Ang mauunang term ay 9x cubed y na may highest degree. At ang susunod na term ay 6y squared. And then, kung mapapansin natin, wala tayong term na may variable na y. Kaya ang isusunod na natin ay yung constant term na negative 2. Ngayon na nakaayos na ang mga polynomials, i-distribute na natin ang minus sign sa 9x cubed y plus 6y squared minus 2. Ang 9x cubed y ay magiging negative 9x cubed y. I-minultiply natin ang negative sign or minus sign sa 9x cubed y. Next is, negative times 6y squared is equal to negative 6y squared. And then, negative times negative 2, that is equal to positive 2. Therefore, from 9x cubed y plus 6y squared minus 2, naging negative 9x cubed y minus 6y squared plus 2. Maaari na natin i-combine ang like terms. We have x cubed y minus 9x cubed y. Next is negative 3y squared minus 6y squared. And then, Copy 5y dahil wala namang term na may y sa isa pang polynomial. And then, sa constant terms, negative 8 plus 2. x cubed y minus 9x cubed y is equal to negative 8x cubed y. May 1 na coefficient ang x cubed y, kaya 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8. Sa negative 3y squared minus 6y squared naman, ang makukuha natin ay negative 9y squared. I-combine natin ang negative 3 at negative 6, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng negative 9y squared. Kopihin lang natin ang positive 5y. Sa negative 8 plus 2, makukuha natin ang negative 6. Different sign sila, kaya nagbawas tayo at kinopya natin ang sign ng 8. Our answer is negative 8x cubed y minus 9y squared plus 5y minus 6. Subukan naman nating isolve ang ating given kanina using the vertical format. 
Again, ayusin muna natin ang order ng ating mga polynomials. So, okay na itong unang polynomial natin. Ayusin lamang natin ang 6y squared minus 2 plus 9x cubed times y. Since ang unang polynomial ay naka-arrange into descending order, haayusin din natin ang pangalawang polynomial into descending order. Uunahin natin yung may pinakamataas na degree, which is 9x cubed times y. And then, susundan nito ng 6y squared, tapos huli yung constant term na negative 2. So, kinopya lang muna natin itong ating unang polynomial. Pagkatapos, i-multiply natin itong minus sign or negative sign sa ating subtrahend na 9x cubed times y plus 6y squared minus 2. Negative times positive 9x cubed y, that is equal to negative 9x cubed y. Negative times positive 6y squared, that is equal to negative 6y squared. And then negative times negative 2, that is equal to positive 2. And then magpo-proceed na tayo sa addition. So kapag nasa addition na tayo, Ihanay na natin into column yung ating mga polynomials. And again, magkakatapat yung mga similar terms. Dito sa pangalawang polynomial natin, wala tayong term na mayroong variable na y. Therefore, ang gagawin natin is lalagyan muna natin yan ng 0y. So, katumbas din nito is 0. So, i-add na natin ang bawat terms. Negative 8 plus 2, magkaiba ng sign. So, magsusubtract tayo, tapos kukopyahin natin yung sign nung 8, which is negative. So, ang answer natin dyan is negative 6. 5y plus 0y, that is equal to positive 5y. And then, negative 3y squared minus 6y squared. Pareho silang negative, ano? So, ikukombine lamang natin ang ating numerical coefficients. And, syempre, kukopyahin natin yung negative na sign. So, magiging negative 9y squared. And, yung unang terms natin, x cubed times y minus 9x cubed y. Yung una nating term ay may coefficient na 1. 1 minus 9, that is equal to negative 8. Kukopyahin lamang natin ang x cubed times y. So, ang ating final answer ay negative 8x cubed y minus 9y squared plus 5y minus 6. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, huwag kalimutang pindutin ang like button, mag-subscribe, at i-hit ang bell button para sa marami pang videos.